Let's get a check of the market now with pro trader Alan Nuckman, the chief market strategist at Paradigm. Alan, there's so much happening right now with the market and beyond. Hello, Angie. With all of this news around us, we've got to remember it's all about price. Give us an example of what you mean when you say price. All right. The price failed to fill that gap up above at 4,400 in the S&P. And since that time, we've fallen back after that failure and we're down at the lows that we've been here in the last five months. What's your take on earnings season? All right, earnings season has started and started with boom. 30% of the S&P companies report here this week, so some big names. Now we got Google and Microsoft who came out with some big, big numbers. They each made 20 billion in pure profit for the quarter. Tell us about your new trade. All right, speaking of earnings, today is not an earnings play. It's what I see in the price and what I see in the chart. Now, looking at Intel, we played this position just a couple weeks ago, got 100% gain just at Labor Day. Trading around 33 right now. We've been between 30 and 40 now for a number of months. With this 35 level, a good pullback to enter again for another swing to the upside. You tend to be long-term. How does this trading strategy move past Intel earnings? Again, earnings come out this week in Intel, but the way to play is with a March option. So I'm buying enough time that the earnings could be a positive or negative catalyst, but in the big picture, I'm going to be in position for success, a chip down on chips, so to speak. What call option contract are you buying on Intel? So what I'm looking at is the 30 call for March. The 30 call, we're trading about 33 or so. The 30 call is about $3 in the money. March option has six months of time. And what's nice here is a range breakout above the 40 level sends Intel to 50. It's really been a laggard over the last couple of years when you compare it to the NDX. So it's set up based on what we see once again. What about your trading day takeaways? All right, let's talk trading takeaways. Trading takeaway number one, 5% yield, not a stop. All right, we hit 5% yield in the 10 year note. That got everybody excited. The markets made some new relative lows on Monday since we've already gotten past that here uh, in the past couple of days since that. But 5%, you've got to put in perspective from 1980 to 2000, the 10 year note yield was above 5% the whole time and the market moved, the S&P moved 900% up. Number two, 2010. All right, not the year. What I want to talk about is performance. The S&P is up 20% off its October low just a year ago and it's 10% or so off the all time top. Also, the NASDAQ, we talked about Google and Microsoft, how well they're doing. The NASDAQ is 40% off the low and about 10% off the all-time top. And number three, test. Now, we want to see, I'm bullish, I want to see if it's a test and reject. We've come down to that 4,200 level. Now, we took out Monday's low uh, here yesterday. Now, that's important, but we did not make new relative highs in volatility in the VIX. So that's a bullish sign by now, for now. Let's see where we finish the week, see if this was a test or a test and reject for an upside score. I like your bullish signs, Alan. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.